wants more tax cuts for the rich? Mitt Romney, Chris Christie, Newt Gingrich. <laughs> Do you believe this? These guys just a few months ago were friends, colleagues, political allies. Now they are killing each other. What is this, like a modern version of Cain and Abel? Look, this is why Americans are tired of politics and why Congress has a 9% approval rating. Kim Kardashian has a higher approval rating when she flosses her teeth because people are sick of the negativity. They're tired of this fratricidal war. Now, I'm not here to judge, and I realize these guys have been in Congress for 16 years, and they don't think there's any life outside of Washington, so they're going to hold on until you pry their cold, dead hands away from that seat. But I'd like to help them a little bit and maybe mediate this. Yeah, I'm running against them, but we could have a civil contest. We don't have to have the kind of electoral battle that has the voters running from the booth. I want to sit with these guys and say to them, you were friends. You know, of course we want to win. Everybody wants to win, but not at any cost. You're not supposed to win and sell your soul. I hosted a TV show on TLC called Shalom in the Home, where I actually mediated families across the country, creating greater harmony. And I want to offer my services to Congressmen Rothman and Pesquerel to try to bring a more civil tone to their campaign. Look, politics should be passionate. Politics should be engaging. But it doesn't have to be dirty, and it doesn't have to be abusive. I want to volunteer my time to try to reduce the tensions that have totally overtaken their congressional race. Will I be successful? Heck, I don't know. But I know it's worth the effort, because Americans have to care about politics. People like Rothman, Pesquerel, or me, if I become your congressman, will have a lot of say in how much taxes you pay, the kind of schools your kids go to, the kind of military you have, the wars that we fight. So shouldn't you hear the substantive issues rather than the noise of this kind of conflict? I'm going to volunteer to help them in any way that I can, because whoever wins this race is someone that I may have to run against. And I don't want all of you to have to watch this. I want you to hear what we have to say about the important issues of our time. I want you to hear what our positions are going to be on Afghanistan, what our positions are going to be on school choice, what our positions are going to be on big social issues, like how do we save the American marriage? How do we get kids to be a little bit less selfish and a little bit more service oriented? How do we reduce the one trillion dollars that college students owe in education debt, which is even more than we owe with all of our credit cards put together. But you're not going to hear any of that so long as it's drowned out by that.